Well, I see here on this very cold morning that I, I've stopped preaching and, and went to meddling, as my old uh, professor once said from Fort Dodge, Brother Fulman. Uh, I've, I've uh, quit preaching, gone to meddling with your hobby horses, and you'll have to forgive me. I, I think Paul would have been harder than I am. But I'm just reading the plain scripture, transliterating it by the spirit of Elohim, and we're just letting it uh, uh, fall as it may. Praise Yahweh. We're clear down here into the fifth chapter of Galatians. We're getting straightened out by the word. A uh, little leaveneth, uh, leaveneth the whole lump. Uh, a little leaveneth, leaveneth the whole lump, Mashiach Yeshua said. You, you call him Christ Jesus in your circle sometimes. Uh, Paul the Apostle, Shliach Rav Shaul, the old uh, Pharisee turned evangelist, apostle, emissary, says a little, he quotes the Messiah, a little leaven, leaven of the whole lump. And I'm not even a preacher. I don't claim to be a preacher. I've been kicked out. But I have confidence in you through the Master that you'll be none otherwise minded. But he that troubles you shall bear his judgment, whoever he be. The law keepers shall put themselves back under the law and face the damnation, the judgment of Yahweh. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, Judaism, law keeping, Mosaic uh, 6.13, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the execution stake whom you call cross feast. I would that they were even cut off, which trouble you. I don't think he has anything to worry about. For, brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Liberty. You, you can't conceive of that, can you? The liberty of acting from the heart rather than the flesh. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Don't go back in under the flesh. Uh, don't go back under, under law-keeping. But by law, serve one another. For all Torah law is fulfilled in one word. In this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. This is what Mashiach Yeshua preached and proclaimed. He, he proclaimed ten simple moral laws. Uh, he, he didn't put bondage on people. He, he told one man, uh, Thou shalt love Yahweh thy Elohim with all thy heart, mind, and soul, and thy neighbor as thyself. This do, and go thou and do likewise. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed one of another. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. How come the law-keeping groups don't talk about and teach walking in the Spirit? How come they left that for charismatic Sunday groups? For the flesh wars against the Spirit. The Spirit wars against the flesh. These two are contrary one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if you're led by the Spirit, you're not under the law at all. You can kiss the 613 goodbye. The Spirit's not going to cause you to break the Ten Commandments. What's the matter with you? Why do you need church and, and uh, apostolic uh, decrees and regulations that you take in part from the Word? Or why do you need 613, which you cannot keep in no wise? There's no temple to keep them. Uh, to go back under the law. If you're under the Spirit, you're not under the law, because the works of the flesh are made known. They're these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. How come these works permeate these religious church groups, these messianic cults? How come we hear words that these ministers and rabbis and so forth, whoever they are, these officials, are secretly... Uh, having these uh, liaisons and these these uh, polygamous unions behind the scenes, these thugs, uh, they're under the law. They're under the works of the flesh. They're not operating in the spirit. The spirit doesn't lead us to commit adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Whatever makes up these religious cults and organizations, no one had to get out. Envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like as which I tell you before, as I have told you, 
in time past that they that do not such things shall not, I'm going to speak double, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. They talk about God. They should be ashamed. They're not going to inherit the royal realm of Yahweh Elohim. They're going to be out the door, as Mashiach said. Uh, They're not going to have on the wedding garment. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, kindness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Messiahs have impaled the flesh with the affections and lusts. For if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another, all the uh, components of these religious factions. Uh, no wonder the world is in such a mess. So Paul ends this great discourse. Bless his heart. Wish we had him back. I'd sit under this man forever and a day. I believe in his teaching and his Torah doctrine a hundred percent. For brethren, if a man be overcome, overtaken, caught in a fault, kick him out. No. Ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. I've been kicked out. I know what I'm talking about. I can see the difference. I wish that these great spiritual truths were practiced by a body I could be a part of. Bear you one another's burden and so fulfill the law of Hamashiach, Yeshua's Torah, the higher law. For if a man think himself to be something, oh, I'm something, I'm a law keeper. When he's nothing, he deceiveth himself. After all, this is talking about law keeping. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth and all toth to breathe good things. Be not deceived, Christian. God is not mocked. Be not deceived, Torah keeper. Elohim, Yahweh, is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, so shall he reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. I remember John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we therefore have opportunity, let us do toth good unto all, especially unto those who are of the household of faith. See, what large letters I have written unto you with mine own hand. Again, an indication of his weak eyesight. As many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, they constrain you to be Judaized, to be circumcised, to keep 613, to go back under the book of the law, only lest they should suffer persecution. Christians for the cross of Christ, Messianics for the execution stake of Messiah. For neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law, the book of the law, the 613, the law of Moses. They can't keep it. They can't replace the levies that were fired in 70 CE. They can't mend up that curtain that was rent apart in the temple in uh, 33 or so AD or CE when Mashiach died and he rent that service apart by that curtain, that parakeet but desire to have you circumcised that they may glory in your flesh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, circumcision is part of modern-day Judaism. But God forbid, Christian, Kosfi Shalom, Hebrew to Hauser, uh, Elohim forbid, Messianic, may it never be that I should glory, save in the execution stake of our Master, Yeshua HaMashiach. Because if we... A glory or esteem ourselves in that we don't have any place to boast he did it all by whom the world is crucified and paled into me and I into the world for in Yeshua Mashiach Yeshua neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision but a new creation the implication is 
availeth much. For as many as walk according to this rule, shalom, peace be on them, and mercy, hain be hesed, and upon the Yisroel of Yahweh. That's where we should be in our thinking, beliefs, and practices. From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Master Yeshua. Brethren, ach vi Mashiach, the unmerited favor chain behesed of our Master Yeshua Mashiach be with your spirit. Amen. Amen.